I'm blind and I've never seen Benedict Cumberbatch, so I'm going to describe what he looks like just from hearing his voice. Roll the cliff, Ollie. Now, some thought went into them. I think I think we're kind of done with the kind of circular movement. We'll see that evolving, I think. Very posh. Can we have a hair a bit more, darling? He's an expert in creating incredible shapes. I feel like he probably is better looking than me in my head because his voice is so suave. I think he won Time's Sexiest Man. Did he? At one point. In my head he's quite like square and his eyes are quite far apart and then he's got quite a big like emphasis on his brows but then he's got quite petite nose like quite small and then quite small lips and I don't know his bottom of his face is a bit more oval and circular. I personally think his hair is a lot like Colin Firth oh, nice. in Love Actually. He's kind of that. He's very quaint English, like everyone wants to go out with him. I think he wears long cigarette jackets. I feel like he's the guy that has the cigar at the party. Toggled coats, like, you know, the, the gorgeous coats I get you, Ollie. And he wears, like, browns and mustards, and he's brown shoe kind of guy. And he's always got a nice watch on. Casio or... <laughs> Maybe not Casio. His budget's probably a bit higher. Rolex. <laughs> yeah, Rolex. Yeah, he definitely drives like a black saloon car. He's got dark brown hair and quite small ears, like proportionally quite small ears for his head because I think everyone fancies small ears, I don't know. He said he was time sexiest Hi. man, so I don't know. I think you did reasonably well. Yeah. Not, not far. I think you're really good on the square forehead, like narrower bottom half of the face. Really? Right. Yeah, and the small ears. And he the has small tiny ears. ears. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> Really mini. People do fancy small ears. They like little lettuces. <laughs> no, lettuces? No. 